Howdy everyone and welcome to the Serial Geek TV YouTube channel. My name is James Etock and today we're going to take a rather lengthy look at Thunder, 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 Thundercats Ho! The Movie. When the marketing potential for cartoon series attached to toy lines was fully realised by both companies and animation studios alike, the result was a vast array of properties fighting for space on the TV screen and in the toy aisle. Suddenly, for every cartoon there was a toy line, and for every toy line a cartoon. Whether it was action-adventure fare aimed at young boys, or more feminine-inspired properties targeted towards young girls, the 1980s was a boom time for those with a vested interest in these concepts. Despite the almost overcrowding of cartoons and toys around at the time, it's fair to say that there were definitive leaders in the pack, brands that stood out from others and which had something a bit special. One of those market leaders was a cartoon and toy line based around a group of feline superheroes, the Thundercats. Although extremely popular, it's arguable that Thundercats never quite reached the levels of global phenomenon that some of the show's contemporaries did, in particular brands such as He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the Transformers and later with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nevertheless, the show was a ratings winner, and so it was no surprise when Thundercats was renewed for a second season, bringing another 65 episodes of high-octane adventure for the show's fans to enjoy. This second season would bring with it a number of new characters, including three new Thundercats to fight alongside Lionel and his friends. Their introduction to the series was via Thundercats Ho! The Movie, an animated TV movie that introduced the new Thundercats, Linkso, Bengali and Pumaira, to audiences across the world. From TV to big screen. In an effort to capitalise on the success of their respective animated series, and in many cases as a means of generating or renewing buzz and excitement around a particular property, a number of the 1980s most successful animated franchises managed to make their way to the cinema screen. Some of these movies were successful, whilst others somewhat less so. Arguably the 1980s two most successful forays from animated series to animated movie belonged to the era's two most successful properties, both enjoying decent success at the box office, with Transformers the movie and He-Man and She-Ra The Secret of the Sword, the latter featuring the cast of the Masters of the Universe cartoon and toy line and featuring the introduction of He-Man's twin sister, She-Ra. Other properties such as My Little Pony and Challenge of the Go-Bots were not as successful, with a planned G.I. Joe movie heading directly to video. Some of the animated series of the 80s that made the jump to the big screen enjoyed movies that had been especially written for that purpose, most notably Transformers and My Little Pony. However, in some cases, a popular move was to take a multi-part, usually five-part, story arc from the show's regular animated series and simply edit the episodes together to be repackaged as an animated movie. The most successful attempt at this was The Secret of the Sword, which was made up entirely of footage from the first five episodes of the new Masters of the Universe spin-off series She-Ra, Princess of Power. Why this was on paper such a winning formula was that it was a way for studios to kill two birds with one stone. They could fill five episodes of the 65 required to make a season and also at the same time create a feature length animated movie by editing some of the episodes together. Possibly one of the best known examples of this, aside from the aforementioned Secret of the Sword, is the Thundercats franchise's offering titled Thundercats Ho! The Movie. However, unlike some of its contemporaries, Thundercats Ho! was never released in cinemas, but was instead a direct-to-video release. The reasons for this are unknown, but it's possible that the comparative commercial failures of some other properties' attempts to conquer the big screen resulted in the decision that it would be more cost-effective to target the video market directly. Obviously, the movie was edited down from its weekday episodic structure for its release on VHS. Naturally, with this being a UK VHS release, certain moments of censorship occurred. No nunchucks for Panthro, but that goes without saying in the UK during the 80s and 90s, doesn't it? See my Hero Turtles video essays. Certain shots, such as Top Spinner wielding his ball and chain, were also censored. It really does seem like the censors took great issue with any chain-based weapon. Regardless, many scenes were trimmed down for time. That said, at no real cost to the story, which still flows rather nicely. Confession time. Prior to me making this video, I, and a few others, were under the impression that Thundercats Ho! The Movie was released on VHS in the US. 
Leo Convoy, a Thundercats historian and supporter of this channel, thankfully informed me of the truth. No US release. But you can understand why I was under the impression that it was. I mean, it makes sense, right? Why wouldn't they have released it? Yes, the episodes were televised, but you'd think this would have been easy money for family home entertainment. Release the episodes edited together and watch VHS sales soar. It's kind of unique that the UK received the movie. As I've already said, Thundercats Ho achieved the dual task of providing an exciting and memorable five-part opener to the show's second season, making up five of the 65 episodes needed, and also creating a special direct-to-video animated movie. While it's probably fair to say that the movie's origins lie in pure cost-saving measures, it nonetheless remains one of the series' most fondly remembered and popular stories, and is something of a favourite amongst the show's legion of fans. Storyline in the pilot episode of Thundercats, the feline heroes were shown fleeing their home planet of Thundera just before its destruction, ultimately arriving at the planet of Third Earth, where they attempted to settle and build a new home. The Thundercats were the last of their race, alone in the universe except for each other, which helped forge a special bond between all of the characters. Over the course of the first season, the Thundercats were shown to adapt to their new home planet, making friends with, and enemies of, some of the planet's indigenous races. With the second season being prepared for launch, it was clear that the status quo needed shaking up in order to keep the concept fresh. And another motivating factor would doubtless have been that LJN, the company producing Thundercats toys and action figures, wanted some fresh new waves of product to sell. As such, one of the most logical and, from a storytelling perspective, exciting things that the show's writers could have done was to introduce new Thundercats to create a new dynamic between the series' existing characters there was, however, a problem with this idea, in that the Thundercats whose adventures we'd been enjoying were supposed to be the last of their kind, with all other ships in the fleeing Thundarian fleet having been destroyed by the Thundercats' enemies, the Mutants, in a brutal attack that took place in the series' pilot. To conceivably introduce a new group of Thundercats into the series would be something of a challenge. Enter Leonard Starr, the most prolific writer on Thundercats and the man who penned the series' opening episodes, as well as several others throughout the show's first season. Starr came up with a storyline for Thundercats Ho! the movie that showed three Thundarian refugees, Linkso, Bengali and Pumaira, being left stranded on Thundera just as the planet was about to be destroyed. In the opening scene of the movie, we see the pre-adolescent Lion-O fleeing Thundera alongside Jaga and the other Thundercats. Standing on the flight deck of the Thundarian flagship, Lion-O spies three Thundarians whose ship has been destroyed and who are trying to desperately reach the Thundercat ship before it takes off. Unfortunately, the three Thundarians are too late and the ship is forced to leave without them before Thundera is destroyed. Lino is understandably traumatised at having to abandon his fellow Thundarians and is then shown in his adult form on Third Earth, waking up from a nightmare during which he has relived this terrible scene. Jaga then appears in his ghostly form and tells Lino that these three Thundarians are in fact alive and well and living on Third Earth. It is revealed that a passing Burble spacecraft rescued the Thundarians, but that the ship was damaged and the Thundarians, along with their Burble rescuers, had only enough fuel to reach Third Earth. What follows these events is an exciting adventure featuring appearances from many of the Thundercats' most memorable friends and foes from the series' first season, with the Thundercats fighting desperately to find their fellow Thundarians, who are also coveted by their arch-nemesis Mumra. Reintroducing the Berserkers In addition to the introduction of the new Thundercats, the movie is also notable for reintroducing the characters of the Berserkers and their fearsome leader, Hammerhand. Hammerhand had first appeared early in the Thundercats' first season as a guest villain in the episode The Terror of Hammerhand. One of the most interesting things about Hammerhand is that he was one of the few Thundercats villains confirmed to actually have died as Mumra resurrected Hammerhand's ghost in an episode from later in the show's first season titled Spitting Image. When Hammerhand was brought back in Thundercats Ho! the movie, the character was seen with a completely new look, looking less like a pirate with a metal hand and closer in appearance to a cyborg character. He also seemed to have lost an eye as the redesigned Hammerhand was shown with an eye patch. In his original design, Hammerhand was shown with both eyes visible. No explanation was given for Hammerhand's resurrection from the dead, nor was there any explanation for his new look. 
In reality, it was quite likely to be a move driven as much by the toy company LJN, given that with the new season of Thundercats came action figures, and not just of Hammerhand, but of three more distinct berserkers introduced in Thundercats Ho! the movie, Rambam, Topspinner and Cruncher. Pushing the boundaries of coincidence. Arguably, one of the biggest weaknesses in the storyline of Thundercats Ho! is that it relies heavily on coincidence. When the passing Burble ship rescues the Thundercats and the ship becomes damaged, it's quite a stretch of the imagination to believe that there was no other planet that they could have landed on other than Third Earth, even if it were some planet where they could put down and make repairs to their spaceship and then move on to some other destination. For the only other set of Thundarian survivors to end up having to land on the same planet that the other Thundercats do isn't a major plot hole, but it is a very big coincidence. As an interesting side note, the Thundercats comic book series published by Marvel UK actually created their own serialised prequel to the events of Thundercats Ho! And in that prequel it was shown that whilst Bengali, Linkso, Pumaira and their Burble friends rested in suspension capsules, the spectral form of Jaga appeared and deliberately guided them to Third Earth, presumably in the knowledge that they would find the Thundercats, the other surviving members of their race. Whilst obviously this isn't cartoon canon, it's nonetheless a very nice idea that helps explain away the coincidence. Returning to the issue of cartoon continuity, the other thing that isn't made clear is why, if Lino has been bothered by the apparent deaths of the three Thundarians since leaving his own planet, Jargo waits until this particular time to mention that the Thundarians are alive and well on Third Earth. Unfortunately, the biggest weakness of Thundercats Ho! the movie is that it does require the show's fans to theorise and come up with their own explanations regarding some of these things, which is a pity because in every other respect the storyline of the movie is a very entertaining one with a great deal of exciting and excellent character development for the three new Thundercats themselves. From Thundarians to Thundercats Obviously the major talking point of Thundercats Ho! is the appearance of Bengali, Linkso and Pumaira, the three Thundarian refugees who later become the newest addition to the Thundercat ranks. The movie was actually the first time that regular Thundarians, referred to by the reptilian Slythe as Thundarian commoners, had been properly seen in the series, and in fact it adds quite a bit of interest to the audience's perception of the Thundarian race to see a different tier of Thundarian society. It becomes apparent however that a lot of the skills and abilities that the Thundercats themselves possess are evident in these three newly discovered Thundarians, and it is no surprise when, at the end of the movie, or at the conclusion of the fifth part, whichever you prefer, Lionel anoints the three newcomers as full-fledged Thundercats. When watching the movie, the best thing about the three new Thundercats is that they each have their own unique personality. The youngest of the three, Bengali, is something of a bridge between the Thunder Kittens, Wily Kit and Wily Cat, and the now fully grown Lion-O. Pumaira adds another female character into the mix and is written somewhat younger and more excitable than Chitara. Arguably the most interesting of the new Thundercats is Linkso, who was blinded by a rogue flash of flames when fleeing Thundera, but who possesses both great skill in his other senses, which he demonstrates many times throughout the course of the movie. And also, being the eldest of the living Thundercats serves as something of a bridge between Jaga, who can only ever be seen by Lionel, and the other elder Thundercats such as Tigra and Panthro. In this respect, it's possible to see how much effort was put into creating the new Thundercats personalities so that they could complement the already established members of the team. Thundercats Ho! the movie was broadcast as a five-part episode at the start of Thundercats second season in 1986. However, for Thundercats fans in the UK, the VHS release of Thundercats Ho! the movie had very special significance. Hey kids, this is Lion O, inviting you to share all the exciting adventures of the Thundercats. When Thundercats was broadcast in the US, it was common practice for a station to show a new episode of the series every day of the week, hence why cartoons like Thundercats were produced with 65 episodes to a season, allowing for 13 weeks of programming. In the UK, Thundercats was broadcast once a week on Children's BBC, and so it was possible for the BBC to get over a year's worth of programming out of the purchase of one season. As a consequence of this, two things happened. 
Firstly, the BBC began by only broadcasting the first half of Thundercats' first season, which debuted in the UK in 1987, and in fact they didn't begin broadcasting the second half of season one until 1990, meaning that Thundercats fans in the UK were still seeing new episodes of Thundercats as late as spring 1991. The other consequence of this was that, for whatever reason, the BBC never broadcast, or probably never even acquired the rights to broadcast, Thundercats second season, which of course included all the episodes featuring the new Thundercats. So, for many UK fans, the reason why the home video release of Thundercats Ho! The Movie was special was because it was their only exposure to these new and exciting characters, and as such felt more like the one-off special movie it was credited as. This also means that some of the new characters introduced in Thundercats second season after the events of Thundercats Ho! The Movie were never originally seen at all by UK audiences, most notably the new villains known as the Lunatacks. However, a number of Thundercats fans would possibly argue that the British viewers had a lucky escape in that regard. As another interesting side note, due to the second half of Thundercats first season not being broadcast in the UK until 1990, the VHS release of Thundercats Ho! released in the UK in 1988 would have been most fans' first introduction to some characters who made their debut in the show's first season. Characters such as Hachiman, Rotaro, Captain Shiner and others having debuted in episodes that the BBC at the time had yet to broadcast. How it matches up. When viewed on its own merits, Thundercats Ho! is a really enjoyable, action-packed tale featuring an all-star cast of great guest characters. It's fresh, exciting and just good fun to watch. The only way the movie starts to pale in comparison is when it's compared to the epic events portrayed in some of the other animated movies around the time. To use the 1980s two most successful transfers from animated TV show to animated movie as an example, in He-Man and She-Ra The Secret of the Sword, the events of that movie show a pretty radical change in the life of the series' main character He-Man and his alter ego of Prince Adam, who discovers that he has a long-lost twin sister. And if you look at the events of Transformers the movie, that film takes things further still, with the deaths of many of the series' main characters, most notably Optimus Prime and Megatron, clearing the way for the new lead characters to take over from the start of the Transformers third season. So, compared to the epic events of these two movies, Thundercats Ho! feels something of a missed opportunity. The movie could have been used to tell some epic tale involving Lion-O coming of age, a theme that ironically had been successfully utilised in the show's first season with another five-part story arc, or some other grand character-expanding storyline. It's amazing when you think about this movie, the amount of characters, guest characters, vehicles, locations, plots and subplots, it's a truly epic tale. While Thundercats Ho! The Movie did achieve its brief of shaking the series up by introducing new elements into the show, when viewed in comparison to the aforementioned movies, it feels as though it wasn't bold enough. But again, when viewed on its own merits, the movie does what it set out to achieve which is to provide an entertaining, fun ride throughout the Thundercats universe, introducing us to some new friends and foes along the way. Before I end this video essay, I just want to highlight a few of my favourite scenes from the movie. Aside from the ridiculously colourful cast of characters old and new, I love the Berserkers. Something about their brightly coloured redesigns really leaps from the screen, as well as their amusing personalities and repetitive pirate talk. Another scene for me that is always memorable occurs when Snowman rescues Lino from his icy burial on Hook Mountain. The artists do a rather incredible job of setting the mood of this scene with the sprawling chilly vista blessed with the sunset laden skies. I do think that quite possibly my favourite scene from the movie is Lino exploring Mumra's pyramid only to be pursued by the deadly wrappings that seek to mummify him. The animation and direction throughout this sequence is astounding and really showcases what the show was capable of visually when the top tier animators were working on an episode. The animation timing is especially worth admiring with the perfect use of ones and twos to create a dramatic sense of action, a wonderful show of strength on the part of Lino and the threat itself as our hero is slowly mummified. 
Finally, one of my favourite little interactions occurs near the end of the movie when, even though blind and even though his name has not been revealed to him, Linkso is aware that he and his allies are in the presence of lion -O, informing the leader of the Thundercats that he hears his father's voice in his. lion -O's reaction is wonderful as he realises that he can learn much about his father from the sage-like Thundarian. With its exciting visuals and incredible action, Thundercats Ho! The Movie is a production that, despite its flaws, remains a much-loved adventure from TV's favourite animated feline heroes. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.